Okay, let's begin with this one. The limit as x approaching 3 plus of this right here. If you put 3 plus into all the x, first you get 6 over 0 plus, which is infinity. Minus, you also end up with 1 over 0 plus, which is also infinity. Infinity minus infinity, we have to do more work because that's an indeterminate form. Well, it's not that bad because we see this is x squared minus 9. We can just go ahead and factor it to be x minus 3 times x plus 3. Well, here we only have x minus 3. Let's just multiply the bottom and the top by x plus 3 so that they will have the same denominator. This way we can just combine the fractions. And be sure you write down the limit again right here. The limit as x approaching 3 plus, and now we're going to just put everything together. The denominator is x minus 3 times x plus 3. And for the top, we have 6. And then right here, this is the minus. Therefore, be sure you look at the minus 1 and distribute it into the parentheses. And when you do that, negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative times the positive 3 is minus 3 right here. And you see, on the top, we can just work out 6 minus 3. So that's positive 3, right? And then we have the minus x, like that. And you might be tempting to just cancel this one and that one. But we cannot do that because the order of subtraction does matter. It's not that bad though, because right here, if you just change the 3 minus x into x minus 3, all you have to do here is just put a parenthesis and negate the result, right? The negate the result. So this way, on the top, we actually have negative parentheses of x minus 3. This way, we can cancel this one and that one out. Therefore, on the top, you have negative 1 over x plus 3. And usually when you cancel things out, that's the good things that just happen. And then you should plug in whatever this is into the x and compute it. If you get a nice number, that would be your nice answer. So let's see. On the top, I have negative 1. On the bottom, I will put 3 plus right here. You can put 3 plus or 3 doesn't really matter this time now because you see 3 plus 3 is just 6 or 6 plus, up to you. But all in all, you end up with negative 1 over just a 6. Right? So you don't really have to worry about the 3 plus in this case. That's it, negative 1 over 6 for the first one. Now let's look at this one. When x is approaching 7, if you put 7 into all the x, let me just tell you, if you work this out, you get 0 over 0. Once again, we will have to do more work to fix this, and to do so, Notice that we have square roots, so the good strategy to use is to use the conjugate. Let me just multiply the top and the bottom. By the conjugate of the top, namely, you just change the minus to a plus. In other words, you just multiply by square root of 2x minus 5, and then this becomes a plus, and you keep that square root of x plus 2. And you do the same thing on the bottom. So this is what we have. And then we continue. Once again, be sure you write down the limit as x approaching 7. And then from here, on the top, you see, that's why we multiply by the conjugate. It's because we want to fix the top. Therefore, just multiply out the top. And when you do that, when you multiply the conjugates together, you just get the first term square. So you first have 2x minus 5. And then you are going to minus the second term square. When you square the square root, once again, you just cancel, you have x plus 2. And be sure you put parentheses around this and that, because this right here matters. You have to distribute the minus. And for the bottom here, just keep it as how it is and wait for the good things to happen. So right here, there's nothing that I need to fix yet. I'll just keep it, 3x minus 21, and square root of 2x minus 5 plus square root of x plus 2. On the top, let's do more, because right here, this is 2x minus 5, and then we get minus x, and then minus 2. And let me just put on the result right here. This is the limit as x approaching 7. On the top, 2x minus x is just x, and then negative 5 minus 2 is minus 7. Well, 
that's the top, and now look at the bottom. Especially this factor, 3x minus 21. In fact, if we factor our 3, we end up with x minus 7 as well, and then this x minus 7 and that x minus 7 can be cancelled. So of course we'll do that. Let me factor out the 3 right here. We get 3 times x minus 7 from here. And this right here, I'll just keep it as how it is again, which is square root of 2x minus 5 plus square root of x plus 2. And then, you see, on the top, this factor can be cancelled out with this factor. So, this is pretty much it, the simplification-wise. In the end, of course, you put 7 into all the x. On the top, we have just a 1. That's a nice 1. On the bottom, you have 3 right here, and you multiply by square root of 2 times 7, and you minus 5, and then you add square root of 7 plus 2, like this for the bottom. And let's see, on the top is 1, on the bottom is, well, let's work this out. This is going to be 14 minus 5, which is 9, square root of 9 is 3. This is 9, square root of that is 3 again, so 3 plus 3 is 6, times that 3 is 18. So, we just got our answer, 1 over 18. Alright, so, uh, be sure you guys watch my other videos, so you can get more practice for the limits. And if you are taking Calc 1, best of luck to you guys. Anyway, at the moment, this is it.